dug out if I put the microphone on, doesn't it? Ooh. I've done it again. Right, very, very sorry. We start that one all over again, shall we? Right, well, welcome to Barnabas Junction. <laughs> Let's try and get the chat room going. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. I just thought I'd look down, I saw you all saying stop, stop, stop. Sorry. Right, welcome to Barnabas Junction. Uh, this is a running session, especially for BRF, and today commemorates the 25th anniversary of the registration of BRF as being BRF, uh, of which there are two depots, one here in Crewe, Gretna Bridge Depot, and also the uh, other depot up at Carlisle, that's the Queen's Moor Depot. I've not been there yet myself, but I do plan to in the near, near or distant future, if I can get it to happen, so a bit of a disconnect for me, but I really, really would like to go there. Uh, still very quiet. Okie dokie, let's see what I can do. Uh, how is that? Let's see if I can just turn, turn the volume up for you. Apologies for that. I had some uh, changes in settings and reverted them back. So I've had to uh, fiddle about to get it working again. Um, right, let me just see what I can do here. Uh, don't, 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 don't. This might just cause an issue. I don't know. If it does, I will end the stream and come straight back. That's just fixed it. And now I should be really loud. Uh, I'll turn that down. Apologies to those listening on their phones. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. Fixed it. Right. So, again, DRS. 25 years of DRS since the first registration. So I'm really pleased to be a really big fan of DRS. Uh, as you can see, you know, got the big totem up there, got loads of posters, got loads of rolling stock, and yeah, as you can see, the screen around me is DRS uh, coloured. Um, and you might know, I'm supporting my DRS cap, Facebook cap also. Right, uh, where were we? How is everyone? Yes, all loud and clear. Shh, <laughs> that's better, sorry, sorry about that. I hadn't switched the microphone on for the camera, it was still using the, the computer. Out of sync, that's a YouTube issue, I do apologise, there's not really much I can do about that. Um, just bear with it, you won't really matter when I get the trains running. So thanks to everybody that's tuned in, to, uh, taking the time out to tune in. Um, I'm going to do, hopefully, um, a run of all the DRS stock that I've got on the layout. There is some that are no longer on the layout. Um, as they've gone elsewhere um, but we'll wait and see uh, let's have a look who's in wow there's lots of you in 20 of you in uh, yes Wardle Road yes you're frightened to see the depot aren't you uh, <laughs> Sandridge Junction West Coast Central uh, FMR thank you. hello to you Tim Les Gilpin hello good to see you Diesel Freight Spot in Kent hello good evening to you Michael Mick Carville, if I spell that product, Hollybrook Junction, uh, Michael again, upwards and onwards, all the way from New Zealand, uh, wow, quite a lot of you actually, it's been a struggle, so hello, 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 thank you everyone for joining me, Lester TMD, Brian Elder, David Train Time, hello, uh, Train Spotting UK, uh, great to see you all, what's the intro music, the which one, because I, I played a few actually, the very first one is YouTube free music, um, and I can tell you what they are if I can get this to show up on the screen for me. Um, there we go. The first track I played was Stranger Danger, followed by Atmosphere and then Stranger Things and Sunspots and Nimbus. I'm not sure if it played them in their order, but they're the, the tracks I set up to play. Um, but the very first track was uh, Stranger Danger. Uh, that's, that's my, it's one I like to use a lot for this channel. Um, not sure actually, is the music still playing quietly in the background? I do believe it might be, you might not be able to hear it though. So, uh, Moreland Model Railway, Andy, hello, good evening to you. David Atkins, hello, good evening to you, all the way from uh, British Columbia. So, let's get some trains running, shall we? This is a DRS running session and you don't want to see this mug. So, let's get some, see some trains. Right, 
Bear with me while I'll move the camera. Okay, so there we go, we've now got the camera set up for you. In front of you, you will see uh, we've got several locomotives, and you'll also see the new depot sign there, actually. Four Eagles TMD, welcome to Four Eagles TMD, everybody. Part of the Barnabas Junction layout, this is the TMD area. And as you can see, we've got quite a few locos in the shed. In the shed, uh, we've got one currently running around the main tracks as well. So uh, let's fire up some locos.
Thank you very much, Aaron. Yes, loud horn, that is uh, the class 66, it's still waiting to return back into the yard while this uh, 37 pulls out. I do believe, Leslie, that there is footage, I have seen that, I think, the charity train to Romania, if I uh, am right in what you're on about. <laughs> Water Road Depot time! <laughs> so if there's any particular locomotives that you know I've got and you want to see them in front of the camera, first of all I'm, I'm doing a bit of depot work on the camera to start with and I'll move over to the main line uh, the, through the station to show you some footage of there. Um, and basically if there's anything particularly you'd like to see running at uh, the you know I have. Um, I will uh, do my best to get them moving for you and operating around the yard.
Good evening to the Growler. Uh, Piccadilly, you'd love to see a 68. Certainly, you can certainly do, do, put, get that out for you. Um, that was actually the plan next week. Apologies for the blurred image. Let's just see if we can focus that for you. There we go. So for John Warner, we've got the Class 68. It's uh, 68002 Intrepid. For any of you who want to know, this uh, board for the depot is six foot by two foot. And it's amazing what uh, they actually be able to fit in this uh, quite short area. It's a uh, super bit of trap work and gives great shunting manoeuvres. as you say a 47 I do have a 47 DRS but it's currently not available for the layouts I'm afraid um, well I do have the next best thing and that's 57s <laughs> And as we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the uh, registering of direct rail services, what we'll do is uh, we'll bring um, 57 309 out, X Thunderbird, and this one is quite fitting really because this one is the Pride of Crew. Hand of God. Everyone loves the hand of God. So as you can see there, I'm not sure if you can see the light, we've got the Pride Crew 57309.
Thank you very much, Gary, you last for TMD. I certainly do love it myself. And it's stopped there again. We have the same loco in game days. Very good growler. Uh, Les, no, unfortunately, no 20s left. Looking forward to it, Gary. Looking forward to it indeed. FMR, uh, Tim. Yes, OBS can be very daunting. Um, once you've got someone to assist with uh, the ins and outs, it, uh, with the little the details and stuff and uh, the settings, it's really pretty straightforward. But uh, yeah, it can be difficult just to get that started with it. I would love to, Tim. I would love to, but uh, major struggle uh, with distance, just a fraction. Is that a flood relief passenger train in the background, or Cumbrian Coast one that go, get, got lost before they were withdrawn? <coughs> Um, I can only assume you you mean about in fact we're missing the train I just realised don't we?
Okay, okay so let's have a look at the chat. Uh, Anfield Road, hello, good evening to you. A DRS passenger coach? Not yet, but what you did see, um, it's actually a Parcels Express coach being pulled by Malcolm Rail 66 in the far distance. Yes, on that you were correct. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take the camera off the stand, so apologies for the uh, wobbly camera. I'm going to take the stand off the, the uh, I'm going to take you in for a bit of a closer view. So here we have 37405, fully operating new duties. One of my first uh, high quality, I would say, DRS 37s. And ultimately will not be the last. Those that you didn't actually know, uh, DRS is kind of is a nationalised railway in, uh, company. Uh, originally formed from British Nuclear Fuels, and a company that uh, I fell in love with when I visited the open, uh, very first open day that I did go to here at Crewe. I think one of the reasons why I really do like the DRS delivery is it's very very close to probably the second best 
livery ever, and that is BR Blue. Auto Road, can't wait to do a depot running session. Yes, love them. I'm enjoying this. It's brilliant when it all goes right. Blue 7 Railway, hello, good evening to you, hi, great to see you. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move the camera over here. Hopefully, most of everything will continue to work fine. Just so you can get a view down from the left side of the, the depot. Helps if I untangle the cap with the lead. And I'll hopefully it won't it will focus it's focusing on the 68. So you can see you get a visual depth of this depot quite a long way down. It is uh, quite a large depot. So I'm just going to just so you can hear me a little bit better. No, not quite yet. So uh, what we'll do is I'm going to bring the 57 back, I think. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it properly. Let's uh, move the camera up a bit. There we go. Apologies for the blurred image here. I am trying to focus it. Focusing on. Can I put my hand there? I might be due to the lighting. There we go, that's better. So we get a better view now. Winston Junction, great to see you here. Uh, I do believe you are a fan of DRS as well, so uh, I'm sure you'll be enjoying it while having a running session yourself on that ginormous layout.
Kiwi. <laughs> the wooden trains. Yes, indeed, it's part of the hobby. Okay, so that's uh, Four Eagles TMD DRS Defo movements. Uh, let's, so let's uh, take you over to the station now. One final thing from that. There we go. So uh, I'll move you, give you back some music while I just reposition the camera for you. Okay, so we're back now on the station. It's back at Barnabas Junction. So, as you just saw, you uh, Class 66 went past, um, pulling that uh, Parcels Express. Now, I did have it pulling a huge long rake of SO tankers. Sorry, not SO tankers, shell tankers. But I've got uh, quite a few of them and they're quite light. And I'll just bring one of them to shot as these. I've got a large selection of these. 
and I need to modify them. I need to be adding some weight into these as they are extremely light and they do have a habit of bouncing off the track. So, yes, simple job and I'll uh, do a little video on that very soon because uh, a lot of people do have issues with uh, light rolling stock um, and about adding weights that are not too heavy thus causing strain on the locomotive so I'll be doing some uh, add weight adding to these for my loco soon. So again here comes the Malcolm Rail 66412 following express parcels it's a decommissioned coach um, that's 66. Now a lot of people get a bit confused. Um, Malcolm Rail and Stobart Rail. They, they are a subsidiary company but operated on uh, behalf of DRS. And that's why I have them. Um, as they are a unique alternative livery to the standard DRS livery. Um, yes, Ollie, I really do need to uh, do some weathering on these tankers. <clears throat> um, I'll just do a quick count of actually, because and because uh, I have got quite a considerable amount of them. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to put them, <laughs> this might sound down. I'm going to put them on the layout and count them. So you count them as they go past the camera and see if you come up with the same number as me. So, are we ready? This might take a while. So this should be just coming into view now. So, word of warning, you won't have enough fingers to count these. Right, with that 66 passing, here we go. Don't lose to count now. Uh, still going. <laughs> okay, so how many did you count? Comment. How many did you count? Oh, straight away we've got different numbers. Interesting. The interesting thing is I don't actually know myself. So I'll do a count, we'll take them back through again if you wish, go on to second count, so that's how many saying. So we've got 18 from John, 19 from Tim, 18 from Shawbridge, 17 from Rachel at Western Junction, 7 from Shawbridge, I think he means 17, David Train Time saying 19, Brian of Finiston Central saying 19. Okay, would you like to see them again? Should we go past again? Well, this time, uh, Anfield saying 12. I'll tell you what, we'll go back, we'll take them back, pass through, 
Um, what we'll do is we'll bring the locomotive out, I think, to pull these through, shall we? So they can keep going through, as you can say. So what we'll do is we will bring, I think what we'll do is we'll bring uh, the 68 out, I think. So uh, keep posting your... Suggested numbers. Oh, a few more coming in. I'm filled again saying twelve. Right, yo. Um, hopefully, we'll, I'll be wrapping it up by then. So, uh, make sure we go the right way. Indeed we have. So let's uh don't know on that one. So Intrepid's gonna come out. Wizzy's past the camera. Out onto the branch line. Pick them up. Good evening, Jeff. Wardle, I've seen how many you had on your shelf. It was a lot, though, wasn't it? <laughs> Is it allowed to go that fast? No, no, we shouldn't be going that fast. That was to just me turning on the nitro. Okay. So are we ready? Hopefully none of them will derail. Otherwise we might be in a bit of a mess, a bit of a pickle. So the 68 had none on. No, not yet, but here it is. It's coming now. So, are we counting then? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and still going. Twelve, so Anfield's wrong there, he said twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So who got 18? Who got 18? I think only one of you actually said 18. Indeed it was, it was Shawbridge Junction. Oh no, John of Piccadilly, whatever, he said 18, he was the first to say it. Well done, John. Uh, followed by Shawbridge Junction. Nobody else got 18. Wow. Graham Kettering Junction there, putting the 18. Well done. <laughs> yes, indeed, 18. I did not know I had that many. Um, well, quite a few, actually. <laughs> God, I want to run one of those 
round the, the other way. The other way. That's scrap line. Hello Tim, welcome to the stream. Uh, right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to bring out uh, 57 Pride of Crew, I think, because we've got a rail tour that needs uh, some uh, needs to be put into action. So far, so good. The 68 is not. No other tankers have derailed. So we're in the shot now. The Pride Crew coming through. It's making its way over to platform one. So it's got some um, manoeuvring to do. Crew is making its way around. Hello, Gareth. How am I doing? I am doing absolutely splendid. Thank you very much, Gareth. Crew's just coming along through now. I'm going to hook up for rail tour duties. Operating from platform one, heading north. Really, I should be filming this, but I should have you on camera for this. And what we'll do is I'll move the camera for you shortly. All them tankers passing again. <laughs> I'll just let uh, the rail tour to pass through in front of the camera and then we'll uh, change position and uh, where would you like where would you guys like the camera to be situated good day Sparky good day Railroaders indeed.
on the other side of the layout um there's four sides could you be a bit specific do you mean the uh, the countryside side uh, the other side of the station or over the loft hatch which is uh, nothing really to see over there I look at the new loco shops. Right hand side. Okay, you mean the, the right, the uh, countryside side. Okie dokie. Well, I can certainly sort that out. But uh, bear in mind, I've got to manoeuvre a few things. So bear with me while I just adjust the camera. I'll be right back with you. I've tried to get the camera in as best as I can to uh, get the view as best as possible. Uh, access to right to the edge is a bit restricted at the moment. Um, you may notice actually that uh, the shell tankers are now being pulled by the 57 Pride crew. Uh, unfortunately that locomotive was just having a few issues uh, so I've swapped it over with Intrepid which you can see there in the background pulling the uh, rail top. So turn it a little bit, there we go. So what we have in chat. It's 
Sparky, you are teasing me with that 68 in the bottom right hand corner. <laughs> hey, well there's a 68 on the layout, sir. Uh, we'll be coming around shortly. I'll just speed it up a fraction as well. But not too fast that it's a blur on the camera. So coming round is uh, the Malcolm Rail again, DRS uh, 66412. What I could do with doing it really is bring out something else, or maybe something for it to pull differently. Uh, what we might do is bring the nuclear flasks out and swap them. So coming through now is 68002 Intrepid. Pulling the rail top. <laughs> Better music and picture than being on over board for. I hate that too, Gareth. <laughs> what size is the layout? Uh, Graham of Kettering Junction is asking. The layout is approximately, from very edge to edge, it's about 14 foot square. Uh, it's a loft layout. In some areas, it does get reduced down to about 13 foot due to the chimney breaths, which uh, is unfortunately comes through the loft but the maximum area is 14 foot by 14 foot due to the apexes of the roof the workability area on the upper rail is about 13 about 12 and a half to 13 foot so it does dramatically reduce the area the side you're looking at there and this countryside scene that from the very front bar uh, here all the way to the very back behind that rock face to the very point maximum point that is two foot the station area from front platform to the very back where the back scene is is two and a half foot uh, the industrial side excluding the depot the TMD is again two foot and the area that goes over the loft hatch, which I just class as the crossover, that is 18 inches uh, width, but only 10 of it is actually in use due to the apex of the roof. Well, that is something that I've got pl plans with, uh, which are subject to change. Thank you for joining Dave, Davey Atkins, great to see you all the way from British Columbia. Take care, see you again soon. Uh, going back to that 57 uh, running on that rail tour, which the, the 68 is pulling now, um, it was having an issue at the back, uh, and that's a long standing issue I've been having with several of the locomotives. It's all down to a little hump that's appeared um, in the woodwork which has pushed the track up a little bit of warping um, unfortunately that's got to come out but at the same time it ties in with me doing a revamp um, of that area so it's kind of killing two birds with one stone could say um, i find it's more of an issue with the long wheel based axles um, as in like the three axle bogies or anything that's of a long wheel uh, power car like the Pendolino. So I do have a few issues with them um, just in this one particular spot. But uh, fingers crossed I'll be able to sort that out. Westall Wagglets, good evening. Chris over at Westall Wagglets, good evening to you. Thanks for joining us. Another moderator for the show. So. I'm going to uh, be ending this very, very shortly. Um, for those of you who want a bit of a more deeper insight into Barnabas Junction, then make sure you check out Wardle Road. Check out his channel. Uh, he did, he had the pleasure of coming here a couple of weeks ago and interviewing myself and a little bit of an in-depth insight about the layout, uh, why it's what it is, and where it based on that sort of thing 
and why it's got the names it is. It's a great interview he did with me and I really thoroughly enjoy that. So check out Ollie of Wardle Road. He is in the chat. If you don't see him just now, just scroll back, you'll be able to find him. If not, just search YouTube Wardle Road. Where's my pick gone from the bottom left? Yes, I've taken that off. <laughs> my ugly mug is bad enough as it is. So, uh, final five minutes then. Uh, we'll call, call this, uh, bring it to an end at uh, half past eight. Due to the fact that the Water Road will be doing a premiering of uh, Jenny Kirk. And that's going live at half past eight. So we'll bring this to an end in five minutes time. There he is, Water Road. Just click on his... Water Road name and right click on it and the uh, option will come up to go to this channel and you can still view the channel even while watching this. Very clever of YouTube. And don't forget to make sure you subscribe and click the bell and check out uh, the interview with myself and many of the other interviews. He's done Graham Folsom, uh, Blake Side, uh, he did Valley Brook, a great live stream he does. Yeah, Valley Brook does like doing these live streams. So thank you very much Brian for joining me, we're going to bring this to an end in a few minutes time. Uh, just finally, what I'll do is I'm going to spin the camera around and give you a view down um, around the layout. So I'm going to centralise the camera and give you a, a pan around the layout. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I thank you for joining me on this uh, live stream. Um, thank you for everyone for commenting, uh, it's been great to have you all here and again Congratulations to DRS on reaching 25 years of first registration and many more years to come. Um, ultimately my favourite, favourite livery. You wouldn't think it though, would you? No, you wouldn't. Take care. What I'll do is I'll put the music up and I'll give you a slow view around the layout. Until next time, take care for now from Barnabas Junction.